Republic of Costa Centava discovers massive oil deposits and rapidly enters the world trade markets. Oil will dominate Costa Centavan politics for the next century. Ugh. Why is it always the really interesting ideas that turn out to be so bad? When I heard the premise of this game, I got really excited. It's something that hasn't really been dealt with in video games that much. And like I've said before, creativity is half the battle for a good game. But that half gets completely erased if the gameplay feels like a lesser quality version of every shooter on the market today. Unfortunately, that pretty much fits this game perfectly. This is Secret Service for the Xbox 360. To protect the president. Step back, sir. No fun. Secret Service starts on Inauguration Day for the next President of the United States, with you taking the role of an agent named Pierce. After walking the current Commander-in-Chief up the stairs of the Lincoln Memorial, you're ambushed by insurgents and the President takes a shot to the stomach. Now, while this could be a great start for a mission that's a combination of careful planning, protecting, and coordination, it actually just turns into a shooter. The game does almost nothing to use these elements as anything more than a plot device. But in games, that's really not enough. You have to use it for gameplay too, and it makes it feel even more uninspired when such a cool concept becomes so standard. Speaking of gameplay, Secret Service is one of the most sluggish FPS games I've ever played. Every time you turn to the left or the right to shoot someone, it feels like someone is trying to push you back, and weapons control with incredible imprecision. On the default difficulty, it also doesn't take that much to kill you, which is okay. But feeling like the game is fighting you really doesn't help. Target still mobile and hostile. Take him down, dear. Enemy AI are fairly good at staying behind cover, although they don't like to go a great distance to find it, and their aim is a little unfair. Again, I don't mind a game with a challenge, but I know that if I had Call of Duty or Halo controls for this game, I'd really have no problem. Hit detection also seems off. I encountered times when I should have hit an enemy, and he suffered no damage. It's frustrating to not be able to trust that. Secret Service also features some mini-games like bomb defusing, and these are actually pretty fun, but the game doesn't give you much time to solve them. This, however, I don't mind. I'm defusing a bomb, so it's supposed to be a high-stress situation. That's kind of the tone of the whole game. Every time you move is a time when anyone could pop out and take shots at you, and this is one thing Secret Service does right. The tone is good, but the controls and mechanics just aren't at the same level. Now, Secret Service was released in 2008, a few years after the 360 hit stores, but it does look like a much earlier title. I guess that's to be expected, as this was not a high-profile game, but it certainly doesn't help. Voice acting and sound effects are also pretty average, but music is actually really interesting, giving a nice tension to the game that fits it perfectly. You gotta reacquire. He ain't down yet. When a great idea just doesn't work all that well, it hurts a lot more than if you expected it to be bad, and that's how Secret Service makes me feel. The concept had so much more potential than a poorly controlling shooter with some guys in suits. <laughs> 